Welcome to Tracking the Pros. I'm your shadowy host, Curator Edits, and these are the top 10 plays of the week according to you, the audience. At number 10, Watch Thresh. Now that's snatching something from the jaws of defeat. Thresh and Jinx, who's being piloted by Puff, are caught in the river. Puff flashes out, giving up on the Thresh. But instead of trying to run, Thresh lands a death sentence on DRX's barrel, who's playing Lux, and they go to the gray screen together. Best of all, he still keeps his flash for the next fight. At number 9, watch T1's Caria on Lux. Caria gets a nice pick with light binding into ult, hitting both J4 and Pike. This sets up Aiko on Jin to do some damage with his ult. Caria then keeps up the pressure, hitting both Pike and Jarvan low enough for Baeko to pick up the double before C9's Berserker cleans him up with his ult. Still, some very nice aggressive support. At number 8, watch Kate. Well, T1's Gamayushi just got styled on. Caitlyn uses her ult as an opener, then uses 90 caliber net and gale force active to kill Gamayushi from 3 quarters HP between his towers and in front of his stretch. Guess you could say, that's a real shot to the head! At number 7, watch Caitlyn. This is why you don't feed a Caitlyn. She uses 90 caliber net to kite Kiana, then does a couple autos into Q to finish her off. Caitlyn then flashes to avoid Jace's leap, finishes him off, then uses her damage and shield bow to force LeBlanc to leave. Solo 3v1, 2 kills, and lives. Can't ask for more than that. At number 6, watch Zed. Zed gets caught out by the Kiana jungle in a bit of a bad spot. After using Deathmark to dodge lethal, Zed instantly ignites and combos, then returns to his shadow to let Echo finish her off. Now that's a tilter. At number 5, watch C9's blabber on Lee Sin. I kinda wish I had the APM counter for this one. Blabber comes up for the counter gank to help his low Vladimir. After eating a lot of damage from Red Team to bait them in, he flash Gore Drinkers, also dodging the Gragas ult. After that, he ults Jace and the blue team finishes off both him and Gragas. And for bonus points, 10 seconds later he baits and kills the full health Yoss with the help of his team. At number 4, watch Gragas. Just another example of why top lane is a brutal place to fall behind. Gragas is up 3 kills to 1, so at this point, he just decided to get fancy. He lays down a barrel to let it cook, then does a body slam into an empowered auto for the stun. He finishes it off by using his explosive cast to knock Jace into the cooked barrel and finish him off. At number 3, watch Red Team. Alright, so this week's comments debate, was this a misplay by blue team or an outplay by red team? Blue team has a numbers advantage but is down levels and kills. Despite all that, Galio engages on red team. Iana uses her ult effectively in the jungle to hit both Blitzcrank and Caitlyn. Acidin plays it well and avoids both Galio engage and Kion ult. He then barely cleans up the Lee and makes it to safety. Red team comes out of a 3v4 up 3 kills to 1. At number 2, watch Cloud9's fudge on Cassidin. You know that if you break a LeBlanc's ankles, you're doing something right. Fudge baits LeBlanc in by eating her ethereal chains. He then perfectly times his rift walk to trigger as she roots him, then unloads his combo on her. After that, using his health and level advantage, he dives her under tower and finishes her off for the easy kill. At number 1, watch Cassidy.
Well, there's something you don't see every day. Free 30-minute Cassid and Pentakill in Grandmasters, hanging out over by Grom. He waits a few seconds to make sure some abilities are wasted, and he's not evaporated on contact. He also uses ult to dodge the last caress. After that, it's just clean up. That's all the plays we have for this week. The free sub for a month goes to this guy. I can't pronounce your name, but you're awesome. You want your shot at these juicy emotes and sub-only chat? Clip the best plays from the stream, then vote on the Tracking the Pros website. Link is in the description below. Got any thoughts or suggestions? Leave them in the comments. Until next time, this is Curator. See you next time.